Good morning and welcome to school today. It is the 27th. The 27th of April, we don't have a song to sing, so let's go ahead and get our day started by standing for the pledge, plus the pledge to the plague, pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, <coughs> excuse me, with liberty and justice for all. All right, let, let's see what we're having for lunch today. It looks like we're having mandarin chicken with veggie fried rice, glazed carrots, cucumber sticks, and orange juice. Sounds tasty. Let's see if we have any 27th birthdays. Today is Carver May's birthday, and it is Nico Pascucci, Pascucci's birthday. And that's it for today. So, uh, Carver and Nico, come at lunchtime. We'll get your birthday balloon for you, okay? All right, our attendance yesterday was 95.1. Close, but not that 96 we need. Fourth grade had our best attendance. They unseated second and third. They'll be dismissed first. Um, and congratulations to Ms. Shipley's class. They have completed their 40th day of perfect attendance. You guys are doing great with perfect attendance. I'm using certificates I haven't used in a long time. Um, these people had perfect attendance. Arena's class, Perkins class, Shipley's class, and Wix's class. Remember that our mission here at Red Oak Elementary is to have academic excellence, be super smart, a nurturing environment where everybody feels safe, and then we want to be life ready, figuring out what's our passion and our purpose. And remember that our manner of the week for this week is get someone's attention by saying, excuse me. Okay, if they're talking or anything like that, you say, excuse me. And then today we have a, um, I think I put two of them together, but today is an idiom and it's time flies. I like that little picture that helps us kind of know what time flies is. It's when time passes really quickly. So the, from spring break to the end of school, time flies. It's like poof, and we're almost out. We got, you know, just like three weeks of school left, so us. All righty. Got some red oak role model slips as well. Uh, Xavion White did great math learning. Madison H. in Ms. Howard's room, nice attention to movement in music. Nice work to Rowan in Mr. Shelton's room. Uh, music also. Brindley in Mr. Shelton's room. Nice job. Katie K was an active listener. Brantley McCracken was silent when he needed to be. Reagan Gillum made good decisions. Braden Hager, um, let's see, set a good example. Lucas Away Marine set a good example. Ryan T. Day um, used good, appropriate responses. Alicia Faulkner set a good example. Lyric in Miss Anderson's class did night work in music. So did Brendan. Colt May set a good example in Miss Quinn's class. Oh, that, was, that was just a good example. Caleb McLeod did not yell when someone yelled at him. Good self-control. Caleb, that is so hard to do. Thank you for doing that. Garen Howard was an active listener. In, uh, just in that, that was it. <laughs> Ian Wetzel sits where he can focus and work hard. Ian, that just shows you're getting so grown up. Um, Aubrey in Miss Rose class paid great attention to music and did some fabulous moves. And Mia Mesa was kind and to a sad friend on the playground. Great job, guys. All right, then we've got some, let's sign some jokes here. Oh, I had jokes in my pocket and I left them in there. Uh, let's see, okay, what do you get when a lion escapes from the zoo? A catastrophe, catastrophe. Um, where do trout keep their money? Do you, if, do you know what trout are? Or a kind of fish, they keep it in a riverbank. Um, let's see. What's the difference between a cat and a frog? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A cat has nine lives, but a frog croaks every day. Croaks is a kind of a, a sassy way to say somebody dies. Um, what did the worm say to her daughter when she came home late? Where on earth have you been? And let's see. Oh, that's funny. That's perfect with our idiom today. What did the boy say when he threw a slug across the room? Man, how slime flies. Well, that's a funny one, too. So, All right, let's say our red oak expectations. Ow, got me. My flippy thing got me. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you keep your hands and your feet to yourselves, that you are always, always kind, and that our hallways and our bathrooms are silent places. Have a fabulous day. Do your work and do it well, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys.